Okay, let's do the, um, the activities in the Create Page section of the Item Management chapter. So we need to modify the item DIO. We need to add a new function to create new, a new news item. I'm going to copy that. Go into the uh, Source folder, Data and news item DAO. I'll put this down on the bottom. Put it in here. Get that formatted. There it is. Save it. No compilation errors. Let's modify the deployment descriptor. Add a new servlet, which we still need to create. And here's the deployment descriptor. Scroll down to the bottom, add it to the bottom. Although you could add it anywhere. And uh, just going to clean, straighten it up a little bit. Make it, make it uh, line up with the other uh, items in there. That one's done. And we need to create the news item servlet. The create we need to create the create news item servlet. Here it is. Extends HTTP servlet, and that would be in this uh, web publisher dot web package. And once again, this is H. Oops, HTTP servlet. There it is. Finish. And uh, highlight this. Go back to here. Paste it in there. Save it. Just to make sure that everything is formatted nicely, just to do that auto formatting. And then uh, we're ready to test. That was fast. Let's go ahead and taste test it. Let's stop and then start. This is OK. Go to here. Let's create a new news item. The title is CSUSB. The URL HTTP slash colon slash slash csusb.edu slash that's optional submit there it is test the link there we go there we have it we have completed the activities in the create page section of the item management chapter